The company has been behind tests to catch colon and lung cancer. We're talking about exact sciences. It's mm -hmm. been making news in the medical field and now with a plan to move the company's headquarters downtown. CEO and Chairman Kevin Conroy is good enough to join us this morning. Thanks for being with us. Adam, Danica, thanks for having me. Sure. So let's jump right into it. I mean, the company's known for ColoGuard, but let's talk about this new partnership that you have with the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston to detect yes. lung cancer early. Describe this for us. Lung can. cancer is the number one cancer killer in the world, killing uh, in the U.S. alone 150,000 people every year. And uh, it's a disease that if detected early, mm -hmm. stage one, there's a 70 to 80 percent survival rate. Unfortunately, it's usually detected late, stage three or four, when the survival rate's as low as 2 percent. Mm. So the goal here is with a simple blood test to be able to detect lung cancer in its early curable stage. Yeah, uh, and do you find, I mean, it must be so great to hear from folks that you're actually helping out there too. Uh, do you yeah. have a favorite story or anybody? Is, well, so we developed ColoGuard, which is a right. colon cancer screening right. yeah. test. And just recently, uh, a gentleman who was positive with his ColoGuard test and went in for a colonoscopy, they found an early stage one cancer. <laughs> easily took care of the problem and he's a big tennis player he sent me a tennis ball with his name <laughs> on it Steve Rubin it's really um, gratifying to hear yeah. these stories of people whose lives are changed because of a simple test do you have people I imagine you have people in the company maybe yourself who's been impacted by this and you kind of look and see this yeah. is what we're this is why we're doing this. yeah my father was detected uh, with a uh, late precancer that was a large precancer just a step before cancer and it was incredibly gratifying for me to have um, uh, ColoGuard have that kind of an impact personally. And you, you said a few years before the uh, lung cancer it will be on the, that testing kit yeah. will be on the market, right? Yeah, it, we think that it is a five to six year program mm -hmm. from where we are today to FDA approval and introduction of a simple blood test for lung cancer detection throughout the U.S. and globally. You have talked about moving your company's headquarters downtown Madison. Um, why is that, and, and to the Judge Doyle Square area, why is that so important for you? Well, that's something that we're working with the city on, and it's important for us to be in a location where uh, people want to be. And it's clear that younger people today want to work in an ur urban environment. Um, we're incredibly appreciative of what the mayor is doing and the city council has been doing to work with us. They have been really great to work with in, in terms of trying to find a way to make an exact sciences headquarters work downtown in Judge Doyle Square. Where are we again in that process right now? Well, it's a very expedited process and uh, we're coming to the very tail end of it uh, as we're working through this with the city. So what comes next for the company? Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like there's a lot going on. You were telling us in, in the commercial break there are a couple of different cancers testing that you're working on as well. Yes, well, in fact, investors are coming into Madison this week on Thursday from all over the country, and we're talking about our pipeline of products, not only the lung cancer screening test, but we're also developing a uh, test for the early detection of pancreatic cancer, a, a serious uh, yeah. problem in yeah. the U.S., and esophageal cancer, two, two tests that we're working with the Mayo Clinic on developing. It's really exciting. It really is. Modern medicine, <laughs> always. Kevin Conroy from Exact, or Exact Sciences, thanks so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Dan. Sure.